Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. Hello everyone and welcome to Jan Ice Force and Discovery. I'm Jared the Jan of Jan R. Today's video I want to talk about why you should not work for Allied Universal Security Company. Allied just does not do security, but they do they have janitorial services and they have all other kinds of security services and they have cyber people and they have all kinds of other services that they offer. They employ about eight hundred thousand people. They keep buying out these smaller security companies and they keep growing. They'll probably have over a million or a million and a half employees in the next five years. But here's the problem with Allied, or from my experience, here's where Allied Universal kind of goes wrong in my opinion. They're too big. You get kind of overshadowed by people. Yes, there's a lot of opportunities to move up, but you're not going to move up past so far because you have so much competition for all those other jobs. Now, Allied is a good company to work for if you're just like kind of looking to get into the game, get started. However, just like with most security jobs, do not expect a steady schedule. Do not expect a schedule that, that will stay consistent. And they're incredibly understaffed in most cases, so you're going to be working a lot of overtime and a lot of hours. And if you have a family, this is not going to be for you. I'm just going to tell you guys that straight up and be completely honest. Allied is not a company that you really want to be like working for if you have a family or if you are planning on having a family or if you have a serious relationship going on or if you enjoy having free time because while all of your friends are sleeping in bed or your spouse or your kids are sleeping in bed, you're going to be up overnight like working. The shifts that I worked was from 3 to 11 p.m. and from 7 a.m. until and from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Sorry about that. But those were the shifts that I worked. But the thing is, a lot of people are thinking, well, those are only eight-hour shifts. I, but here's the thing. There were some days I would go into work, and I would actually go, and I would actually work the 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. shift, but then I would have to turn right around actually I'm saying that wrong sorry about that I would have to work the shift I would have to work the night shift and then turn around and have to work that same shift in the morning once I got off so or yeah so I I would work from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. but then that same day I would have to work from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. so about a five hour gap five six hour gap in there and you don't have time to do anything guys and it's not so much the fault of your supervisors at allied or anything it's just the fact of they're so understaffed they don't have enough people people call out and then they need you to come in and that's the way but it is and the hours are not steady at all you may work that shift one day and the next day you might like work a 12 hour shift and then an eight hour shift and then three twelves and then two eights and it's extremely extremely jumps around all over the place so if you like a steady schedule allied is not going to be going to be that you want to work for now there are there are all opportunities out there with companies like allied because again they are so big and they have even if you're not going to even if you're not interested in becoming a security officer they do have janitorial services and everything else problem with it, the problem is though is that they do not pay enough and they are a company that see it's all bid on contracts and they will not bid a contract now according to what i learned in my time being there they will not bid a contract that is under 15 dollars an hour the problem is 15 dollars an hour is all they want to pay you starting out and not that the work you do is hard but it's a lot of mental strain because you are having to stay up at times a day and stuff though that your body and your mind should not be awake at and you're also 
the reason though is that you have to be awake at those times and you have to be out patrolling at those times because that's when all crimes that's when a good majority of crimes take place or people that are looking to vandalize and everything and guys if you're somebody that can't handle stress this is not going to be a job for you yes it is easy but at the same time you see a lot of things you'll have to give people cpr you'll be doing chest compressions and you'll hear those bones cracking if you're somebody that gets freaked out super easily about that stuff or if you're somebody that gets really nervous and you're real panicky and you just can't stand the idea of you know being around people at times that could be potentially dangerous to you again not going to be the job for you and guys i'm not telling you to not work for allied universal Again, they would be a great company for somebody that was really looking to get into the business. We had some former, former police officers that worked there, but they were just trying to make some extra money for their for their retirement because they, they were already retired and they were post-certified. And they did that, and then they did similar stuff part-time as well, and they were already fully retired. But if you're looking to make ends meet doing this, guys, I would say check into a different company. Not saying... But you couldn't do it. I mean, if you're a single person and everything, it's it's not bad. And you do, do get pay raises and you do get some other things, guys. And it's not so much, again, it's not the fault of Allied. It's just the fact that, and the areas that you live in also differs on the pay. But you also have people coming in, just like with other companies, to where you come in and they really don't, People will come in and they'll start out at more than what you're making even after a pay raise. So, you just got to, of course, there's a lot of companies like that. And again, has to do more with the company policy and the fact they're such a big company and it's so hard to keep track of everything, guys. Allied is a company, though, that I would say they were great to work for for the time being. And they're, they're not a bad company to work for. I'm just saying, though, guys, overall, if you're going to go for a security company, if you have an interest in the industry, they'd be great to start out with. But for the long term, I would say you're going to want to look into some other things. I mean, I've known people who've, who've worked security jobs with me, and now they're executive protection, and they're out there doing that. And they, again, guys, I'm not I'm not saying this to badmouth Allied Universal. They were a great company. Everybody I worked with was fantastic. But what I am saying, there is a lot of jobs out there that pay a lot more for this industry. There are jobs out there that have way steadier hours. There are people out there who are more qualified to do extreme overnight works. But if you are interested in the security industry, guys, just know that you are going to be working a lot of overnights and evening shifts because that's when they have security. I mean, there are some things things with office buildings and everything of where they do that, but every security patrol job I've had, that's what I was with Allied Universal. I was a security patrol officer, and you do drive their vehicle. So if you're somebody that isn't comfortable driving, there are a lot of things that, that you have to remember going to that. A lot of people go into those jobs thinking that you're going to be like a police officer and you're going to be chasing people down the highway and stuff, though, if, they, if something happens. That's, that's not the way it is at all. You're not even supposed to engage anybody unless if they're threatening you they don't even like really want you helping out anybody else but that's just that's more of a safety deal so he, the, the company doesn't get sued for anything that's going on for them they don't even want you carrying a pocket knife so if you're somebody that thinks that you're going to be carrying protection like working for allied universal that's another reason if you think that just because there are divisions that carry guns and everything there are people you can get promoted and get extra training and stuff for that, and they do a lot of interior training for that type of stuff to be able to carry firearms and carry all this stuff, though. But they don't even want you carrying a pocket knife if you're just going to be a standard patrol officer. So if you're somebody that thinks that you're going to be able to carry a baton or everything has to be authorized. So you can't carry pepper spray. You can't carry a baton. You can't carry a gun. You can't carry a pocket knife. You can't carry anything that is not authorized through them. So if the, so if this is a uh, something that you're thinking of like well yeah I'm gonna go do that because I think it, think it'd be awesome because I'd be like a cop as a security officer guys with allies and everything in between you're not a police officer you're simply there 
as an extra set of eyes. And if you're an armed security guard, like with armored cars, stuff though, again, you're just there guarding over the money. Completely different than being an actual police officer. So if this is something that you're thinking about, guys, Allied be a great company to start with. But for the long term, there's definitely stuff out there that pays a lot more. There's stuff out there that has a lot better benefits and training towards you. Yes, they do have insurance and they do have basic things. But... Their pay is on the bottom end, but then again, the job is not incredibly hard. It's just a lot of long hours, and your equipment is not the best. So, and you do, the, there's a lot of the buildings and their offices, if you ever go, that are more on the ran down side. They get kind of cold at night. There's like trailers and stuff that you might have as an office that, that you can use if like you're a supervisor or anything like that. So, guys, um, that's pretty much it. Again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't you shouldn't work for Allied Universal. I would definitely check your options out there, though. And, again, my time there was fantastic. I worked with a bunch of great guys and girls. And that's the great thing about them, too, is they don't... You have guys and girls, and you're both there together. And it's just the way that it... It's just the way that it goes. And everybody I worked with was great. Everybody was professional. Everybody did everything, but... Again, guys, as far as I would give my overall job at Allied about a 7 out of 10, 10 overall. There was some situations that could have been handled better, but I'm not going to get into those because those aren't every job. God bless each and every one of you. I'm Jared with General Exploration and Discovery. Subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads.